Frequency Cast Special Report Startup in Progress Hi, this is Pete And this is Kelly from Frequency Cast The UK's technology radio show Regular listeners to our show will know that we're big fans of the classic sci-fi radio series The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Between September and November 2013, the radio series is on tour around the UK, and FrequencyCast went along to one of the shows in September. In this special report, we'll take a quick look at the show and bring you an exclusive interview with one of the cast. Share and enjoy! Hi, I'm Jeffrey McGivern. I play Ford Prefect in the Hitchhiker's Guide radio show live. Listen to Frequency Cast, it's great. The show is an adaptation of the original radio series, but with bits from the books, the TV series and later radio shows, all thrown in for good measure. Hello, this is Simon Jones, a.k.a. Arthur Dent, voyaging through the galaxy, and you're listening to Frequency Cast. The show is a must for any Hitchhiker's fan, and we caught up with a few before the show started. Well, here we are, about to go into the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy live radio show, and I'm here with Kelly? No, no, I'm sorry to say, Pete, it's me, it's Alice. Yes, no Kelly tonight, so you're my hot date for this evening here at the Hitchhiker's Guide radio show. And I just can't wait, it's going to be fabulous. Big Hitchhiker's fan? Yes, yeah, I listened to all of the audio tapes when I was younger, and I think I've still got them hidden away somewhere, so I can't wait to see it again. I'm very impressed. You've turned up in a towel tonight. Not in a towel but you know what I mean <laughs> yes I've got my don't panic towel and I'm going to dip it in a pan galactic gargle blaster in the interval and uh, we can uh, we can enjoy that later on the show excellent well I'll be sticking a picture of you in your stunning towel up on the website and catching up with you in half time to find out how you're enjoying the show I'm here with the lovely Jean hello Jean hello lovely Pete why are we here we've come to see the hitchhiker's guide now you came to see this last year didn't you and you're back was it that good it was that good. I had to come and do it all over again. And who are you most looking forward to seeing tonight? Marvin. Hello, Steve. Hello. Do you remember the original radio show? I do. I remember it very, very well, with fond memories. Fantastic. And what are you looking forward to uh, hearing today? First bit, the middle bit, and the end. Hello, Les. Hello. I am an official member of the Marvin Depreciation Society. Um, with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, it evolves. It evolves every time it's a different format and it's on something else. It evolves into something else. It changes. It always changes. The film is different to the radio series, as is the, the, the television series. It evolves. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a bit of an evolution tonight. Well, spoiler alert, if I may, the world blows up at the beginning. No way. <laughs> How can that happen? So I'm guessing by the Marvin badge... Oh, sorry, I've just seen a man in a dressing gown. Aha, it's, it's a Doctor Who dressing gown. That doesn't count. It's close enough. Okay. Douglas Adams did write Sharda, I suppose. Yeah, and, fair and enough. Pirate Planet. Pirate Planet. And... Well, you know your sci-fi. So, uh, favourite character? I'm guessing by the badge, it's a certain metal character. Yeah, we all love Marvin. We've all got an affinity with Marvin. We all can relate to Marvin in so many ways. Well, Alice, half-time. Are you enjoying the show so far? I'm absolutely loving it. So we have the book tonight. Now, of course, in the olden days, Peter Jones played the voice of the book. Uh, And today the book is being played by someone that isn't Peter Jones. No, it isn't. It is Miriam Margolis. So uh, there was a little deliberate mistake, or was it a deliberate mistake, do you think? Well, I'm not entirely sure, because she read the script so well. I'm not too sure if that actually was. I'll let you explain to the listeners. Well, the name of the computer that predicted the uh, answer to life, the universe and everything. It's normally deep thought, but Miriam had a different spin on it. Someone's obviously mucked around with her script and she said deep throat. <laughs> and of course we've got a different Zaphod as well, haven't we? The original Zaphod was Mark Wing Davy, and we've got Mitch Ben playing Zaphod Beetlebrox, which is an interesting choice, but he's actually doing it rather well, isn't he? I think so. He's really throwing himself into it. I'm really enjoying his performance. Now, can you sing? Oh dear. Uh, I did try and sing along with the uh, share and enjoy theme. Uh, I'm also here with Stevie. Hello, Stevie. Hello, pleased to meet you. You're uh, enjoying the show? Very much so. It's my second time of watching it and uh, finding it very, very easy to listen to. Very, very, very rock and roll as well at the start. And right, come on in. Should we have a little sing song? Come on, Alice. Dive in, dive in. Share and enjoy, share and enjoy. Journey through life with a plastic boy or girl by Well, Alice, it's just finished. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy radio show is over. What did you think? 
I thought it was absolutely fabulous. I absolutely loved it. I think for me, actually, it's it's just how spectacular it all is. Because I've seen other radio plays of other productions, and they've all been very simple, and it's wonderful actors in costumes reading things. But this was was just an extravaganza of special effects and things going on, and so many actors running around on stage, and the music that they had they had a live band on stage throughout it, and the special effects team were really good. Marvin was absolutely fantastic, and the special effects that made his face light up whenever he spoke. I just thought that was so clever. And of course, it's so nice to actually see the original radio voices. They did a, a hell of a job up there, absolutely brilliant. The energy, they kept at it. You can tell they were having fun, which is the main thing when you're on stage up there, and I just loved it. So two is going on for a couple more months, I think it is. Would you recommend anyone dash out and go? Oh, definitely. Even if you haven't read the books, if, if you've been a fan of the film, it's just to see it in a different context. Um, anyone who's interested in theatre, it's just a fabulous way to see a slightly different production, seeing people doing a radio play. It's so, so different and just really, really entertaining. So I would highly recommend it to anyone. You don't necessarily have to be a Hitchhiker's fan because it's that good. Was I well behaved in the audience? You were very, very good, even after a few pan galactic gargle blasters. Original cast members Simon Jones, Geoffrey McGiven and Susan Sheridan are all present and correct, but Mark Wing Davey, Zaphod Beeblebrox, was unavailable. In his place this year is comedian, musician and sci-fi lover Mitch Benn, and I caught up with him after the show to find out what it's like to play the best bang since the big one. Well, the Zephyr people rocks at the moment, certainly. I mean, um, I can do the Zephyr voice if you like, but I mean, it's... Uh... Oh, go on, give us a free owl. Free owl! Yeah! <laughs> Super. Of course, Mitch Ben, uh, better known from uh, Radio 4, doing the uh, satirical uh, comedy for the Now Show. If it is indeed possible to be better known for Radio 4, then yes, I guess I am, yes. <laughs> this is great fun. I've been a Hitchhiker's fan since I was like nine and uh, a particular fan of Zaphod, even though I kind of got the impression I wasn't supposed to be. And, and, they're, this, and they're a great bunch of people. I mean, you know, again, I mean, I'm working with you know, some actual childhood heroes here. Um, Simon Jones, Jeffrey McGiven. Well, absolutely, yes. Yeah, Simon and Jeffrey and Susan are kind of, they're, they're kind of the core of, of, of the company because they're the original radio guys. And, and, of course, it was supposed to be Simon, uh, Jeffrey, Susan and Mark, but um, Mark Wing Davey, as in proper Zaphod, is um, now professor of drama at New York University. So last year, it was across the summer months, so he came over and, and basically basically blew his entire you know summer recess on, on doing hitchhikers but this year because they're doing it across the autumn he's, he's got to be in new york he's got to be you know he's got to be day jumping so and i was actually um working with dirk mags whose kind of idea all this is and i said to him so what's next and he said well we're taking hitchhikers back on the road and i said oh can i come and be a guest book because of course they have rotating guest mm-hmm. narrators we have Miriam margulis tonight and he said yeah you can probably be a guest book at some point and i said and i really don't know why i said this when i said this, he said and hey listen if you ever can't get mark i pretty much based my entire personality on Zayford Beeblebrox. And there's this weird moment and Dirk kind of looked at me and said, uh, you being cute, is that an actual suggestion? I said, well, I thought I was being cute, but you can't get Mark, can you? And they just found out, I think, that week that they were not going to be able to get Mark for this run of the tour. A few phone calls later and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Zayford now. I think this, this show has really cracked how you do Hitchhikers as a live thing. Because there have been sort of proper stage adaptations uh, with varying degrees of success in the 80s and 90s. There were sort of attempts to do it as a stage play. This is not really a stage play, although there are elements of stage play in it. It's a, it's, it's a live show, you know, um, and it's got elements of radio recording, elements of panto, elements of Pink Floyd concert, elements of, you know... Um, it's, it's, it's just basically turning Hitchhikers into a live show, which is something which it's, it's, it's kind of always deserved to be. And I think Dirk has very much cracked how you do Hitchhikers in front of an audience. And um, I was actually pleasantly surprised when the PR for the show started. It actually kind of made a feature of the fact that I'm in it this time around. Because I wouldn't have been at all surprised, or indeed the least bit offended, if they'd been a slightly apologetic about the fact that it's me. Because part of this show's USB, certainly in the first run, was it's the original radio cast. And this time I'd have been, it's the original radio cast, except we couldn't get Zayf is this guy instead, sorry. You know, I, I wouldn't have been at all surprised if they'd been a bit uh, apologetic about that. But they actually seem, you know, quite keen to promote it. And certainly the response from the fan base to the announcement that it was me was very positive. And that was hugely encouraging. But I think I'm, I'm kind of regarded as legit in Hitchhiker terms um, because... I'm a Radio 4 guy, I'm a comedy guy, I'm a sci-fi guy. Uh, I've got my own science fiction novel out now, Terror, which people keep mentioning Douglas in the reviews of, which is ludicrously flattering. But So, you know, I think, I think the connection is there. So I think I'm regarded as, as proper. 
and also um, for anybody who saw last year's run, uh, the fact that it's me and Stenham Mark is not the only difference. Part two is almost completely different. The bath um, scene, yes, indeed. Exactly. The Golga Fringe and Biak is in there. The uh, the Total Perspective Vortex is in there, which I love because that's actually the scene at which I kind of fell in love with Zayfod was listening to that on the radio. The idea of being exposed to the vastness of the universe, just making you feel better about yourself. I think is a wonderful idea. Thanks very much to Mitch Ben for chatting to us, and you can find a longer version of that interview up on our site. For more details about Mitch, go to www.mitchben.com. And you can find out when the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy radio show live is in your town at www.hitchhikerslive.com. We hope you've enjoyed this look at this year's show. Stay tuned for our next technology podcast, coming your way soon. We're at www.frequencycast.co.uk. If you're new to our shows, this is what we do. Well, Kelly, we're actually on the telly. We are. Where are we? On the gadget show sofa. Usually the station, the ham radio, is operated by those astronauts who stay on station several months at a time. We are absolutely disgusted with the service. Well, this is 3D sound technology. We've got two speakers in the front, two in the and side. And in breaking news, it looks like a new Freeview HD channel will be with us soon. This year's European Podcast Award. The winner for the non-profit is Frequency Cast. People are always connected, always sharing. So I'd like to see 360 action in the phones itself. And then we have a heart rate which is at 69 beats per minute. We've just officially been given the world record for the lightest touchscreen mobile phone in the world. Hi, this is Susie Perry. This is Dave Prowse, Darth Vader from Star Wars. This is Jane Badler, Diana from V. This is Sue Holderness. This is Simon Jones, aka Arthur Dent. I'm Jeffrey McGiven. I play Ford Prefect. Listen to Frequency Cast, it's great. Frequency Cast. Stay up to date with today's tech. To listen to our free shows online or download us as a podcast, go to www.frequencycast.co.uk. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for Frequency Cast. Frequency Cast. Special report. Shutdown complete.